currently, I guess Obama is going to be, you know, being a kingmaker as we enter closer into the general election cycle. So, guys, I kind of want to get your thoughts on this, especially now that Obama is stepping in to Illinois politics and in openly endorsing J.B. Pritzker. Well, I think kingmaker is a little bit strong there, but yeah, certainly his endorsement is something. But I heard an, inter- an interesting take on the the Rauner JB race, um, and that that involved Madigan. Is okay in a situation where you have two billionaire candidates duking it out and are both if basically trying to funnel money to their preferred, you know, billionaire friends, billionaire millionaire friends. Mm-hmm. Um, wouldn't you kind of be okay with the one that butts heads with Madigan? Like that stymies things, that acts as the obstructionist, or that Madigan is forced to act as the obstructionist with, rather than the guy that's going to get in there and have a greased machine and funnel money willy-nilly anywhere he wants with, with no barriers. I, I, that's why Obama wants him. Yeah. Right. Okay, here's, here, here's my concern um, with that. If, if Ronner is reelected, there, he might have the ego to have a, uh, to have another fight mm-hmm. with Michael Madigan and can and here's my question can the state survive another budgetary crisis and I don't think it can I don't think it can survive another stall I mean look mm-hmm. we were lucky that the Republicans in the House and Senate here in Illinois broke with Bruce Rauner I mean he lost their political support they were with him for such a long time till it finally got to the point where they're like okay we just can't keep doing this they left him and decided to you know the Illinois State House and Senate did this but. I see your point because Madigan, you know, he's he has a large influence here in Illinois politics. So it's he's like the you, political party boss of yeah, the state. Yeah, and so it's like you're choosing one evil over the other. And I'm, look, I'm tired of voting yeah. for the lesser of two evils because I'm basically voting for two people. I, I'm looking at two candidates that I don't know. I, I I can't really relate to, and so I'm kind of putting a really interesting spot here to where it's like. This reminds me of 2016 mm-hmm. all over again. Yeah, and I'm so going to support yeah. Cash Jackson. Yeah, I just, I mean, I don't agree with him ideologically on a lot of things, but at least he's not a billionaire again. who's going to funnel yeah. a bunch of millions of dollars to his millionaire and billionaire friends. Yeah, Rebecca. Yeah, and ideologically, he is against corruption, so yeah. he's for the people. Um, yeah, but, I really like Cash Jackson. I'm glad he's there, at least for a little <laughs> bit of relief. Yeah, so I mean, but like this whole thing with Obama though stepping uh, into the political race. I mean, I mean, yeah, I, I know I we were talking the, about it before the show started. Go ahead. Yeah, the ad was so forced and inauthentic. It was really hard to watch, uh, and it's just it makes it. You mentioned the Obama Library, and it just makes me, you know, which is being funded by the, TIFF dollars, by the way. Ugh, and he's. Fighting against, so the you know he's just trying to he's dismissing the community community benefits agreement um, that is fighting against gentr- gentrification on the south side. So they're fighting directly against Obama, and you know a community benefits agreement is a legally binding contract negotiating between a developer and a community community members who will be impacted by the development. Such an agreement may guarantee certain jobs, housing, or other benefits. For example, the Los Angeles Staples Center has a community benefits agreement reserving jobs for community members, protecting affordable and subsidized housing, and investing revenue into neighborhood schools and business. Sounds great. If you actually go, um, we should maybe get them in here. I know Wolfpack endorses the community benefits agreement. you can go to obamacba.org and they talk about all the things that they want. It's great. It's like they want a green infrastructure master plan. They just it's it's all things where it's like why would Obama not sign this? Like and it's quite obvious that they he's trying to team up with these developers to instead of enhancing the current community and making it better, they would their easy way out is to bring in people that are already rich that will spend all their money there. Yeah. So it's just another example of the corruption, the Democratic corruption in Chicago.